You must be here to audition for the protagonist role. Very well. We'll see if you're up for it. Why don't you take a look around? I do love a tavern, don't you? So cosy. Let's see if you know your way around the basics. <laughs> Not to get too technical, but can you point out a table? I'll let you know if you're off track. Oh, that's a relief. You wouldn't believe how many main characters I lose on that one. This next one will be a bit trickier. Can you point out a patron? That's what I call customers. I just like how fancy... Correct! Though in the future, you might refrain from poking strangers. Some find it rude. That's objects and people handle. Shall we see if you can tell the difference between the rooms? Can you locate the storeroom? Very good. The storeroom is also a great place to hide from annoying customers. Oh dear, is that an adventurer headed this way? Always a handful, heroes. Why don't you see what he wants? After all, interacting with odd characters is part of the job. Just click on the fellow with the book above his head. As you move to intercept the adventurer, he sweeps his sword from its sheath and slams it into the bar top, rattling the tankards and startling the other patrons. He strikes a valiant pose. Fear not, simple townsfolk. The hero has arrived. He frowns, giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. Hm. Not much of a greeting. In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more grateful bowing. Never mind. I don't have time to educate the help. I have an epic journey to begin, and those usually start with slaying beasties on behalf of some random nobody. He stares expectantly at you. It's awkward. Hello. That would be you. Do you have a quest for me or not? You? Impossible! You're a tavern keeper. You don't even have a sword. Watch this. The tavern? I don't get it. What would the focus even be? Drinks, food and entertainment? Designing your own decor? Chatting with customers about their lives? His voice softens and he looks down at his sword, seeming lost. But... but what about me? If I'm not the centre of attention, what am I supposed to do? Really? I don't have to do any fighting or dungeon crawling? The whole world isn't hinging on my valiant deeds? I could just... You managed to defuse the situation? Impressive. I thought for sure that would be a disaster. Let's move on. Now, I'd like to see how you handle opening a tavern yourself. Click on the prompt to the right when you're ready. Welcome to the swamp. Sorry, I blew the location budget on that Halflington Tavern. I hope you like mud. First things first, it's time to teach you how to teach yourself. Hovering your cursor over things like checklists can bring up helpful tool tips. Why don't you try it? Phenomenal work! You mastered tooltips, and thus the secret to mastering the whole game. Onwards! The tap room is ready, but you're missing a vital piece, the tap. You'll need one to serve drinks. Build one wherever you like. It's that easy! 
Ready to hire your first staffer? Ta. Really? Based on those qualifications, are they a friend of yours? Never mind, it's time to buy drinks. The travelling merchant will be here momentarily. Click on him when he arrives. Excited to tap that barrel? Select the tap you installed to assign your new beverage to it. That does it for basic necessities. I think you're ready to open for business. Unlock those doors! It's smooth sailing from here. Wait for a patron and your staffer will do the work. Dead simple, see? Now, let me show you how to make your tavern more cosy. Decorating your tavern truly makes it your own. Take this table, for example. It's an empty canvas, ready to transform. You might decorate it with something simple, perhaps place a centerpiece. But why stop there? You can change and tweak every element according to your mood. Ooh, feeling romantic? And you needn't stop at simply decorating. You can design anything you can imagine, piece by piece. Go wild! For now, let's try something simple. Select a piece from the design mode and combine it with the table. You'll have hundreds of options as a tavern keeper, but let's start with three. That's an interesting choice. Well, there's no accounting for taste. That's enough decorating for now. You know, I think I've found my protagonist. The role is yours if you want it. Go on. Run the tavern as you like for a few days. Perhaps you can earn your first tavern star.
You hear a dry, rhythmic clatter approaching the front door of the tavern. Could it be a peddler selling kindling or a shaman's rattlestick? Many thanks, many thanks. The name's Cusper. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Those skulls seem already to grin by default. Somehow the skeleton seems to smile. One off the tap, if you please. I don't drink much, but I enjoy holding the mug and sloshing it around. Oh, just having a bit of a mid-death crisis, maybe. Stuck in a rut. You serve the drink. Cuthbert clasps it, tapping his bony fingers against the pewter mug. Truth is, me art's not in the job anymore. Been starting to wonder, did I become a dungeon henchman because it was what I wanted or because it was expected of me? I want a job where I can chat with people. Something like what you do. Cuthbert sighs. Skeletons give everybody the willies. Whenever I'm... You've talked me into it. I'm headed down to that dungeon right now and turning in me rusty old sword and shield. The afterlife is too short to waste. Cuthbert slaps a palm again. You go off. I bet that nice skeleton is looking for a new job by now. You should check. The new applicant. Hmm. Maybe he does a skeleton. Some teams were in for a in fact, When he was alive, he. Oh, never mind. Let's save that story for the full game. Carry on. A one-star rating already? You're a natural. Click on the message on the right to claim it. Makes you want another one, doesn't it?
Bad weather on the way. Feel it in my bad leg. So you can feel it too, eh? Shame we can't keep on playing forever, but this is just a demo. How should we end things? I'll leave it up to you. Here, a nice shiny button. Ooh. Press it to end things with a bang, or let the timer run out and leave your tavern to putter along after you go. It certainly is a tempting button, no? The suspense is simply dreadful. You're showing incredible restraint. I bet that clicking finger is simply itching. You can if you want. No one will know. Just little old me. Are you sure you don't want to push it? Oh, you're almost out of time. You resisted the urge to push a big shiny button for that long? How unusual. I bet you'll make some remarkable choices in the full story. I can't wait to find out. Thanks for playing the Tavern Keeper demo. I've had ever so much fun.